Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to come with you with some um, just some natural hair realities, expectations, and tips um, while I'm doing my hair this morning. So um, just a couple things. Um, if you are a new natural or thinking about becoming natural, just some things that you should know. First off are some hair facts. Your hair grows, um, your hair growth is determined by your genetics, okay? So um, there's not really much you can do to grow your hair longer than what you are genetically programmed. You can retain more length with good hair care, you know, taking care of your hair, not manipulate it too much, not breaking it off, but how much, how long your hair will, will grow is determined by your genes. The next thing is hair grows about a half an inch a month or six inches a year, period. Okay, so on average, half an inch a month, six inches a year. Your hair grows in three fa phases. The first phase is the actual growth phase, and that can last um, up to about uh, up to about eight years. You know, I mean, everyone is different, but it can l last up to about eight years. Then there's the transition phase where your hair follicles, you know, kind of shut down and stop sending nourishment um, to your, you know, to your growing hair. And then there's a the third phase, the rest phase, where um, the hair follicle pushes out the old hair and your hair sheds. Um, at any given time, any of your hairs can be at the various um, phases of hair growth, but um, about 85% of your hair is at the growing phase at any time. Okay. One thing not to expect when going natural, don't expect your hair is going to grow exponentially. It's just not true. Okay. Um, your length is determined by your genes, you know, by not chemically altering your hair. It doesn't make your hair grow faster or longer. Good hair care will just stop it from breaking so you can retain more of the length that you've got. Don't expect to have control over your curl pattern. Okay, You cannot alter your curl pattern unless you're doing it chemically or with heat. Okay, Your hair is just going to be how it is unless you change it with chemicals or heat. Okay, Some reasonable... Uh, oh, well you can't make your hair thicker either. Okay, you can't make your hair thicker, thinner, and you can't increase the number of strands on your head. Um, by not um, applying chemicals, um, if there are some hair follicles right now that aren't um, necessarily producing hairs, you know, it's possible that those hairs will regrow. But you can't increase or decrease the number of hair follicles that you have on your head. Well, you can decrease them by, you know, damaging your scalp, but you can't increase them. And you can't... Um, you know, increase or decrease the actual thickness of each hair. Okay? I mean, you can make your hair healthier and appear thicker, but you cannot really increase the thickness of your hair. Okay, reasonable things to expect. You can expect to retain more length um, if you are taking care of your hair. You can expect that your hair would be healthier as long as you're taking care of your hair and as long as you're not abusing it. So those are reasonable expectations for having natural hair couple tips for um, new naturals and people that are planning on going natural. One, don't run out and spend lots of money on high-end products. Okay, um, Not all products are going to work on you the way you see that they work on someone else. Okay, um, Start off cheap, work your way up. I would suggest getting a good shampoo, conditioner, a moisturizer, and one or two styling products that work for you. You know, and once you um, realize what works for you, then you can, you know, if you if you want to, you can move your way up if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, don't go out and buy um, some of those high-end products and get stuck, um, get stuck in using those products only, thinking that only those products are going to work for your hair, because it's not necessarily true. A lot of times you can get the same results from cheaper products. You know, you might have to use two products instead of one, but the price of those two products a lot of times does not equal the price of one of the high-end products. Okay, So just um, think smart when you are um, trying out your products. Okay, Another thing is do your research. Read articles, blogs, talk to other naturals, um, other naturals who have healthy hair. Okay, um, 
you know, watch videos and stuff, but keep your uh, research to those with hair like yours. There are a lot of naturals out here with beautiful hair. They take absolute um, wonderful care of their hair, but copying their hair regimen is not going to make your hair look like theirs, okay? So if you, for instance, I have, my hair is um, very tightly coiled. Um, I have 4B and 4C hair on my head, okay? Um, my hair will not look like, um, I guess uh, an example would be um, Tracy Ellis Ross. It's, it's not going to look like that, you know, because that is not how my hair grows out, okay? I can style my hair to try to mimic her curl pattern, but I cannot change it with the products that I use unless I'm changing it chemically or with heat, okay? Um, when you're looking at styles, you know, look at people whose hair is about the same length and thickness as, of yours because you have a better chance of your, your hairstyle coming out in that, to look that same way. If you're, uh, doing a hairstyle based on someone whose hair is like yours, okay? Hairstyles don't look the same on thick hair and thin hair, okay? Twists come out thicker and take up more space on thick hair. Thin hair, you have a lot of space in between them, so just, you know, keep in mind that, you know, you don't want to put a lot of, of time into a hairstyle just to, um, you know, wake up the next day and realize that it doesn't look like you had expected. Okay. Protective styling can be a plus, but it can also work against you. Okay. So it does allow your hair to rest by not manipulating your hair and not causing breakage. But at the same time, Manipulating your hair brings stimulation and brings more blood flow to your scalp, which helps your hair grow um, some too. So, you know, just make sure that you have a good balance between, between protective styling and um, actually, um, um, you know, doing your hair. Okay. Uh, you know, the, plus you have to think about things like braids. You know, you get braids in your hair, if you leave them in there, it, they can work against you. They can break your hair off eventually. Okay, that is a, a real possibility. Braids can break your hair off if they're left in too long or if they're too tight. Okay, when you do your hair, it shouldn't pull. Okay, it shouldn't hurt when you when you you know when you finish getting all the braids in, it should not hurt. Okay. Uh, the same goes with twists, latch hooks. Uh, wigs, you got to be careful with wigs. You want to make sure you're protecting your hair from the wigs because friction can um, cause hair loss, okay? So, you know, you don't want to wear a wig and then wind up not having no edges because that wig then rubbed, you know, rubbed you the baldness around the edge, okay? So just be careful with those. But they are all viable uh, solutions for protective style. Um, the other thing is don't be afraid to experiment, but only to a certain degree. You know, look at the products, check out what's in them. You know, be very careful that they don't have lye in them, okay? Be careful about alcohol. Lye is the product. Lye is the chemical that um, breaks down the bonds in your hair so that you can straighten it with your relaxer, okay? Alcohol is just drying, okay? It's very drying to your hair, to your skin, to everything, okay? So be careful when you have products that you don't want those two things in your products unless that's and that's that's what you're going for okay um also uh be careful with soap okay most bar soap is processed with lye in it a lot of people don't realize that most bar soap is processed with lye you know either sodium hydroxide or some form of it um to create a bar soap okay so be careful that that doesn't get in your hair okay um the other thing is just communicate, you know, go to meetups, go to uh, expos, get online, you know, visit blogs, use Twitter, Facebook, um, talk to other naturals that you see. The best way to get information is usually word of mouth, okay? You know, someone, just think about the difference between if a commercial comes on and tells you your product is good and your cousin tells you your product is good. You're probably going to listen to your cousin, so just talk to other people who are, um, who have, you know, been down that road or um, people that have some knowledge, you know, that can tell you something, okay? The other thing is um, 
I don't want to waste a lot of time spending hours on styles that don't look right. So just talk to other people. Communicate with other people to see what you can do um, that will work for both, you know, that would actually work for you. And then don't give up. Okay, your hair only grows six inches a year and your hair grows curly. So, you know, if your hair grows out six inches this way during the year, it's going to look like six inches. If your hair grows out curly six inches, it's not necessarily going to look like six inches, but it doesn't mean that it's not growing. Okay, so... Um, I'm always available. There are lots of naturals um, online that are available uh, for communication. You know, if you, I'm looking for styles. You know, if you want to send me questions, suggestions, if you want to send me a style that you've tried, you know, that um, you think that might work for me, um, just communicate and, you know, be open. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Um, um, just, you know, reach out, you know, reach out to people, ask questions. You know, watch the videos on YouTube, and if you send me a message, if you comment on my video, if you send me a message, if you send me something on Twitter, if you send me a message on Facebook, I will always, always, always respond to you, okay? So, um, I'm very open, I'm really friendly to people, so uh, don't be afraid to do so. Um, I'll have my links in the bottom bar, and then there are a lot of other people here online um, that you can also use as resources, so thanks for watching.